at Jibe Beach slash called something else. But uh, a lot of people windsurf here, as you can see. That's pretty cool. Maybe Ricardo will do some of that later. So this area is a bird sanctuary. There's a sign for no drones, and it just it looks surreal, you know. The, uh, the bay looks very, very shallow out here. Turquoise clear waters. Cool rental car, which we borrowed from some friends. There's like a car share kind of a thing. Very cool. Hey buddy, it's Donkeyville. What do we got going on, chef? Ah, uh, so some tuna tartare with some uh, mashed potatoes and a salad, my friend. Hey. Yeah, it's a little bit raw in the middle. But yes, we are. Yeah. All right. Cheers, gentlemen. Compliments to the chef. Cheers. Right. Hope you enjoy. I think probably the best thing about seeing Bonaire by sailboat is the abundance of diving right off the back of your boat. The water here is pristine and there's so much you can see without needing scuba equipment. Just the concrete mooring blocks alone had their own mini ecosystem. starts at about 30 feet or 10 meters of depth and so I began practicing my free diving seeing how deep and how long I could go and I got hooked on it free diving is amazing and rewarding being able to dive deep just on a breath of air and make it last long enough to explore the ocean life below is a wonderful and freeing experience. Well, it's time for more diving and exploring as Ricardo and I head to Klein Bonaire, a small island just west of the main island which you can get to by dinghy. There are moorings there to tie off on and the rule is you're not allowed to beach the dinghy on shore. 
The island is home to sea turtles as well, and there are signs to mark some nest locations to keep visitors from disturbing them. We decided to go for a day sail up the coast to shake the rust off and to see what we could see. And we flew the staysail for the first time. Here I am making some adjustments as some lines were tangled up. So we got our staysail up now and uh, we're doing five knots here in Bonaire. And we're on the downwind side of the island so the oceanic conditions are very calm, it's very nice. Very nice. But I have said it better. We're passing by a large industrial type facility. It looks like a fuel depot. My guess is that that is for the power plant here. That is nuts, buddy. On this evening, Ricardo teamed up with two local artists to paint a mural for this local bar which was just starting up. It was a really fun time and uh, it's 
So, very happy about the result. Este la cumbia de buenos amigos. Suena la cumbia en Xochimilco. Y en los canales voy a navegar. Y por las aguas voy a trabajar. I'm going diving today with some Dutch friends that we made. And uh, a couple friends of theirs, I think. And there they are. Entered my dive equipment. You're not really supposed to go diving without a dive master. You have to be a little bit extra careful just to stick together with our buddies, with each other, in case something goes wrong. And it's a big ocean, and when you're under there, you really, really gotta have your wits about you. So, anywho, should be really fun. Uh, renting just the equipment by yourself is much less expensive than uh, getting a guide. Uh, the guy gave us a deal. It was only $40 for the equipment rental, including the tank for the day. So if we got a guide and divided that cost by three people, it would be like 130 per person for the day. So, I mean, so here we go. And here we are at the spot. So I guess we just tie up the boat here, like Ricardo and I did yesterday. So we're here at Arawak, where that Halloween party was, but uh, there's no party going on now. It's just uh, deserty and dry, cacti everywhere, some donkeys over there. We are on the windward side of the island here, so all the waves here are sweeping against the shore, and it seems like this porous volcanic rock, or this is old calcified reef and that's some donkey wouldn't want to fall down here you'd scrape yourself pretty good Here we are at Dos Pos. There. We're gonna go for a little hikey. Yep, we haven't sweated enough apparently, so we're going to sweat some more. See the moon and some actual topography. All right, let's roll. Watch your head, a lot of uh, barbs there. So there you go, that's Halloween right there. <laughs> Abandoned little shack. Ah, uh, yeah, of course.
trippy views here. Semi arid. It is hot. Hotter than hot. With cacti and spiky bushes all over. At least we have a breeze. Crazy old bones. watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification buttons, and we'll see you on the next episode.